Thank you, Tim, and thank you to everyone for staying as, uh, as, late, as late as it is. So um, it says deep dive here, and I'm not going to torture the people here by really going into a deep dive. Um, well, we need you to use a microphone. Um, so just giving you a background of where we, um, is this one? Just wanted to give you a background um, about myself. I work for a research lab of Samson. Uh, we're located in San Jose. And uh, the focus of our group is parallel computing in general. We've been looking a lot at the um, making heterogeneous parallel computing resources available through the browser as, as one of the use cases. And it was in the spirit of this that um, actually uh, this started out as a research project in the lab, uh, the WebCL, and um, we called it WebCL. And then um, the idea was that we have um, um, currently um, the heterogeneous parallel computing resources, for example, accessing your GPU through OpenCL uh, is not accessible, or was not accessible up till now through the uh, browser. And we said, well, this would be an opportunity to make it available to the programmers, to allow them to use this for performance enhancement, to allow them to use this to enable use cases, uh, which would enable some of the applications which may not be feasible at this time on handheld devices. And that was one of the platforms, um, some of our uh, products of Samsung that we, we were thinking about. So lo and behold, uh, we're working on it. I go to the uh, Kronos face-to-face -face in uh, Las Vegas, and then we have one of the uh, Nokia representatives talking about, here we are, we're working on this, and we're talking, calling it WebCL. So I go back to my manager, I said, Simon, they're working on the exact same thing we're working on, and they're talk calling it the same thing we're calling. <coughs> so this is how kind of the collaboration started between us and Nokia. Uh, kind of independently, both the companies worked on it, and interestingly enough, um, the efforts in each of the respective companies started out in their research labs as well. So we got together um, and uh, wrote up a proposal jointly for the uh, uh, Kronos um, Board of Directors to propose a working group. We got started as a subgroup of OpenCL, and then we got split off as a separate working group. Currently, I chair the working group on behalf of Samsung. Uh, Nokia is the, one of the rep uh, editor of the working group, uh, uh, really, um, excellent gentleman named uh, Tommy Arneo. So we worked closely on the, the uh, development work. Um, so I will go through kind of the motivation, what brought us here, how we got here, where we plan on taking this in future. So, you know, without boring you with the details of the exact API and how this is coming along. So as I noted earlier, intent is to enable high performance parallel processing on multi-core devices from web content. Kind of the, one of the focus of, of our, our group where, where I work in Samsung. So we wanted it to be portable, we wanted it to be efficient, and we wanted it to be able to address uh, performance improvement, performance enhancement on heterogeneous multi-core devices. And lo and behold, here it is, OpenCL, the perfect solution for this, and how can we enable it from the browser? So, so that was kind of the, the spirit in which we started. We wanted it to uh, be able to address some of the kind of high compute demands of the, um, 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 some of the applications, image recognition, augmented reality, etc., acceleration of uh, uh, compute intensive applications, and, and uh, in short, we wanted it to be coherent across mobile devices, across uh, um, uh, desktops and laptops. Um, so the direction we took was we wanted to stay close to the OpenCL API to allow people to stay to um, uh, leverage the um, uh, familiarity they had with OpenCL. And, um, and it will also allow us to keep the WebCL and OpenCL <coughs> in sync as we evolve. And um, the long and the short of it is WebCL defines a JavaScript binding to OpenCL. Through JavaScript, it looks to you like JavaScript. You write, you're writing a JavaScript um, um, uh, code snippet. You're accessing, at the end of the day, OpenCL through the browser down to the GPU. And I'll go in a little bit more detail on how the kind of the differences in some of the um, um, uh, implementations that are available. A couple of them have been made open source. 
Um, this WebCL is not intended to be a high-level API. And when I talk about high-level API, it is intended to be something that gives you access to the core OpenCL resources through your browser, however, still allowing the ability to have frameworks on top of it. Uh, one of the examples is Intel had recently announced the River Trail, and uh, somebody has actually already put it on the uh, Nokia's implementation um, on top of that. So uh, just another example of that. Um, a, a history got started in May. We've got two open source solutions right now, one from Samsung, one from Nokia. Uh, differences in the way uh, the um, implementation was done, yet very minor, uh, and the browser engines that were used, we used the uh, WebKit browser engine. Nokia used the uh, Mozilla's Firefox. There's another proposal that has been recently presented by Motorola, and they're using Node.js which allows you to kind of, they had the um, uh, use case they were targeting was being able to kind of use that from the servers across um, uh, the, uh, the network. So kind of different use cases you're, you're targeting from there. Um, so ours is available open source, Nokia's is available open source, and um, yeah, you guys want to play with that. I have some resources at the end of the presentation, take a look at that. Uh, it would re does require a modified browser, uh, but again, depends on how you may implement that. We modified the WebKit um, engine, um, hardware and driver runtime support for OpenCL, obviously, and the compiler support for WebCL if there are any specific features, which we are currently looking to, um, to introduce. One of the other questions that got asked by us right when we were proposing this working group was, uh, security as, as some of the things were coming into news regarding the WebGL. So we are defining it with security in mind, a couple of aspects in the uh, kind of three-prong approach we're taking. Um, the, the two main questions that people asked was, were, well, before we include that in our browser, um, we want it to be, provide memory protections, i.e. protections against out-of-bound memory accesses, protections against denial of service if one of your kernels uh, runs, um, either it is erroneously written or it just happens to run a long enough time to where it may lock up your system. Um, and also some of the things we needed to uh, introduce some language restrictions on that. So kind of a three-prong approach we're taking. We, are, we do have a proposal right now, a robustness proposal um, on behalf of the working group, and it is currently being discussed. Um, so I, I won't bore you with the details of it, but we are on top of it, done with security in mind. Um, am I on top of it? We're, we need to wrap it up. Okay. So just a brief, um, this was our uh, implementation, um, an example, um, and I'll make the presentation available. Uh, if anybody is interested, please let me know. We got quite a bit of speed up. A couple of uh, examples are available on the YouTube. Uh, Nokia has another implementation. As I mentioned, they use the Firefox. Ours is running on Windows, Linux, um, and um, uh, Mac OS and we've used NVIDIA GPU and um, AMD GPU as well. WebCL resources, we have a public mailing list set up. Uh, we wanted to make sure being a, um, a standard that will influence the browser community at large, we wanted to make sure that the input is available to re be received from the uh, browser community and to get there their, um, and to be able to share our um, kind of design approaches with them. And uh, again, it's a call for participation to anyone who would like to participate, even if you guys or your um, organization is not a member of the uh, Kronos, you can participate through the WebCL public mailing list. So um, at the end of the day, we are excited to be part of the uh, OpenCL family. And um, so if you guys have any questions, I'll be available now or afterwards. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you.